Walking out to give unscheduled remarks, Vice President Kamala Harris made clear she had one message for the Israeli so Prime Minister on the proposed meeting. ceasefire. As I just told Prime Minister Netanyahu, it is time to get this deal done. So to everyone who has been calling for a ceasefire, and to everyone who yearns for peace, I see you and I hear you. A new and clear message to the pro-Palestinian protesters who have mostly been dismissed by the Biden administration. And while she pledged ironclad support for Israel, she spoke at length about the horrors the Palestinian people have been suffering for so long. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. The images of dead children and desperate, hungry people fleeing for safety, sometimes displaced for the second, third, or fourth time. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. This is not how American officials usually speak about Palestinians. They very rarely talk this way about the human toll, the dead, the starving. And in both meetings, when the press was allowed in, sending a clear message to the Israeli prime minister by what they didn't say, very few words of welcome and no praise for their visitor, which almost never happens. We got a lot to talk about. I look forward to our conversation. The Biden administration says they are close to finalizing the ceasefire proposal, and some analysts see renewed reason to hope. The Knesset goes into recess July 28, and during a recess, which will last until late October, shortly before our elections here, it's impossible to bring down a, an Israeli government. So if Mr. Netanyahu wants to do a deal, he will have the political space and the absence of pressure from his right wing to do a deal. If Prime Minister Netanyahu came to Washington to prove he still has U.S. support, he leaves knowing the images painted a much different picture. Around half of the Democrats in the House and the Senate boycotted his speech to Congress, and the Biden administration is clearly losing patience with him and his continued war on Gaza. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. Well, Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.